was feeling I was very, I, I, I am uh, very tired of, of, um, of that guy um, uh, who wants to be a special and who wants to, uh, to get the, um, the validity from the, the others and who is proud about the things that he, he thinks that no, but he don't know anything. And, um, and, and, and I'm feel, I, I was feeling a lot of fear to come here and expose me in front of you, in front of the others, uh, because I, I, I was a very shy person all my life. And I won't give up all of this now because uh, I don't want that. I don't want it. And um, I know that I, I am not that, but still um, my, my attention is going to, to this. It takes all your energy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It, takes, it takes a lot of energy to be a person. It takes no energy to be the self. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't it? It takes a lot of energy to be a person. It takes no energy to be yourself. Hmm? Because how we can even prove that? Very often in our human kingdom, we feel some sort of psychological pressure when we encounter beings who seem to matter to us, even ones you've never met before we become self-conscious in some psychological way. Like if you put a camera on to someone, immediately they start to behave unnaturally and uh, like this. Something inside is behaving like that also. You know, without the camera, just the camera of someone's presence, we, we are checking in to see how we are doing and whether we are coming across and whether they like us and whether we, you know, all this stuff. So. It is a strain, and at some point uh, we come to the place you have come to, which is like, I've had enough, I don't want to live like that. It's not life like that. Yes, I, I, was, I was in my bed that night and I, I couldn't sleep, and I, I thought, okay, 34 years old of history, it's enough, I want to, uh, I want to uh, give up this, uh, now, because it's, it's, it's an history of what I am not, you know, but I, I'm still attached to that, but I, I don't want it when, well, I don't want it, but it's Something my, is attached to it. Yeah. Something is attached to it. Don't be so quick, because we very quickly say, I, I am attached to it, and uh, it's going to take a little bit of looking together, to see if what I'm saying is true or not. Because it is universally accepted that the one who says, look, I've, I've had enough of it now, I've had enough, I want to be free of this, that this is a genuine, a genuine desire to, to get away from the ego self. By the way, it seems that every living being, every human being for sure, had to taste this experience. It's part of what uh, our experience is in this bodily expression, that we must taste the, the sense of individuality, of uh, egotism, of autonomy, and all of this. You see? But the point is to know who you are inside this experience. If you take yourself to be a person, uh, merely an individual, uh, sort of a psychological entity, with the belief, I am this body and I am my conditioning, it will amount to a struggle to come out, even when you want to come out of it. It will seem, now I am ready to come out, why should it not be easy? Hmm? Because truly, you are never ready to be in it. You see? We always suffered that somehow, this state. But you became conscious of your suffering of it. And when you became conscious of the suffering of it, then you see, but if I, this can go on and go on, it seems like it can just go on. Hmm? We're growing older, but not growing up. 
like this. So at some point, it seems the consciousness becomes tired of wearing the mask of personhood. And now it wants to shake it off. Hmm? Yes, and, and also now uh, my job um, doesn't make sense for me. I'm a musician, I'm a professional musician. I play the cello and I, I am a music teacher. And all my, love, all my life this was my very big passion, you know. Yes. I spent a lot of hours, six, seven hours per day playing the cello mm -hmm. all my life. Mm -hmm. And now, now it's nothing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I enjoy when I play, but when I'm not playing, I even remember that I am a musician. I don't want to play. I, I don't feel that passion. So in a part, I am a little bit, not scared, but strange, but... Did this happen kind of spontaneously, without effort? or did Little by little. Yeah, little by little. It just kind of became more... Distant. Yes. This is a good thing. Yes. And normally, I'm, when, when I play in an orchestra, I'm in a place who I have to lead the, the cello section of the orchestra, uh, and now <laughs> I cannot do it. Uh, so I have, to, I have to lead and I have to say, okay, this we have to play like that. But I know it, is only be, <laughs> it would only be uh, not a good thing if uh, somehow uh, this 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 uh, all this was going, and you were just becoming more depressed about it. But if it is somehow the passion for it is being swept aside. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. must be that it's making room for something else. Yeah, because yeah, I have a very light sensation about it. Okay. Yes. Okay. At the, at first, no, but now, yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Did something happen in your life where this to trigger this change? Uh, well, um, no. I came to I I went to India and then uh, when I came back, mm. it started to. India does that sometimes. Yes, <laughs> because <laughs> I was in my. Last year of degree, mm -hmm. when I was to India, and when I come back, when I come back, uh, I, I changed uh, completely my point of view. How did you it. come to the, this type of place, this such something? What happened? Uh, I see you by internet yeah, three uh, years ago. Uh, I think, yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. So we better finish it off then. No? Yeah, I want to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me. <Yeah. laughs> Not the cello playing. Yeah, I would like to hear no. you play. One time you have to come and play. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoy when when yeah. people call me and they, okay, come and play with the orchestra. I, can, okay. I, I enjoy, uh, but okay. when I finish, I, I I cannot play in my home. It's, it's good, but I don't want it because mm. it's okay. And mm. You don't want what? Play in, in at home. Okay, like, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Um, Something is taking over. Something is yeah. uh, coming, moving in. And maybe that had to move over to make some space for what you have come here for now. Yes. Hmm? So where we go from here now? What happened? <laughs> hmm? I want to. I want to melt completely in in, in that. Mm -hmm. It's already happening something. It's already happening, but I feel that that wall that. I, I know that is not true, but I feel that resistance. Mm -hmm. But I, okay, I, okay. So you feel some resistance. You started speaking that from yesterday, even sitting here, some resistance is coming up, some noise is coming up, isn't it? Yes. And this is not an uncommon thing, especially in this type of environment, where the focus is not on the things that come and go, and daily life, and the future, and the past and relationships, the focus is on who you are. And when the light uh, turns upon you in this way, some things which don't belong to you begin to feel, you know, some some noise start yes, to come up. Yes. So you are aware of this noise energetically. You know when resistance is there and doubts are coming and this noisiness like a kind of tsunami is going in the head. No? You know that. Yes. And you know you are not it. You say this. Yes. Mm? Okay. How you know you are not it? <laughs> mm? 
Um, it's an intuition more than a belief, uh, like yeah. an inner uh, yeah, intuition. Like I, I was sitting and my mind say, okay, keep 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 sitting and and don't don't take the risk. But I say no, I I go to take the risk. I go okay. to. So you are beginning to dis discern the difference between your mind and yourself. Yes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is already a big start. You see, you know the mind, the psychological thing is telling you now, keep quiet. You know, keep quiet. Don't go. Don't don't make a fool of yourself and so on. So you have heard this mind before, this serpent mind, you know, speaking. Huh? So something you used to listen to that, but you saw that it just somehow blocked uh, an opening. So now you at least learned from that that this voice is not true. So also resistance, the feeling of resistance come, and also you discern that is not true. Hmm? Okay. Then what is true of all the things that come to you? Hmm? Everything that comes goes. Everything that appears in the space of mind as emotion, feelings, all these things, they come and go. No? Even the things you love, yes. you cannot retain unbroken contact with anything. They come and go, isn't it? Has there been anything that came and stayed? Uh, y yes, I feel uh, uh, like a um, very light space, but it 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 not comes and goes. I think is my attention. My attention comes and goes, but this when I feel when I mean this easy and and and, and light space, I, I feel that. That that I am really that like that I that I, I can observe from that. Yes. But you say that even the attention come and go. Yes. So something must be behind and more present than attention to witness attention coming and going. Even yes. the attention is drifting about and restlessness and so on of the attention that is also observed. Hmm? From the place where even attention is observed. Hmm? Is there any fluctuating there? Huh? And from here, even the most subtle movement does not escape uh, being perceived. But the perceiving or the perceiver, if we want to use this term, is the perceiver fluctuating, is there any movement in it? We are using the word perceiver, but don't be misled by that. I am not indicating that there is a thing there. Is there a thing there, observing? Not. Sometimes I felt that not. That, that now? There is. is there now. something <laughs> observing? Is there, is there? Everybody can participate. This is yeah. a general question for everybody. Is there a somebody or a something observing? No, no, and now I can I can observe did that somebody hearing you or seeing you. Uh -huh. I can observe that that guy feeling nervous, and, and I can observe that. So that nervous guy is also observed. Yes. Yes. So is the observer of the nervous guy is that nervous? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. It, has it ever been nervous? Uh, I, I don't think so, but <laughs> But you must know now. Yes, yes. This is not yes. something that you have to speculate about. Yes, I, I don't feel uh, firmly established in that to say no completely, but uh, wait, wait, I feel... wait, wait, wait. Let's slow down and let's look together because don't miss your chance to see now. Yeah. Uh, I ask you this question and you say Yes, I I don't feel that I'm stable enough in that, okay. So right there, a separation emerges, okay, because just by your saying this, if you believe it, you have backed down somehow, yes. and you have taken a position as someone who has to be in that. Do we follow? 
Is what I'm speaking more strong at the front and more weak at the back, or are we all together in this looking? Very good. Okay. So, um, I want you to just be aware of this that when you say, Yes, I don't think I'm strong enough, I'm not sufficiently established in that, you see, who is speaking now? Who is speaking here? Is it that? Or something other than that speaking. Yes, it's not that. It's not that. Okay. Not that. So which are you? You must you must decide. <laughs> you see? Now I want to say that in a way you decide where you are. You determine. So you are which one? The one who must make the effort to be established in that or that? And I'm not talking that somehow it's some kind of psychological trick. Yeah, no, I know deeply that I don't want to be that who wants to uh, do the effort. I, I know that right. I, I don't want to be... Would that be the one who is speaking now? <laughs> no, no. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you can answer it, it means you can observe this one. At some, you may think you are not able to observe, but Anything that you know, or sense, or believe, or project, or imagine, or remember, hmm, is phenomenal to you. What it means? You can perceive it. You cannot be essentially that thing, because it is perceived. Who follows what I am speaking? This is good. It is encouraging. I am encouraged. <laughs> huh? So, when this voice is speaking, now in this presence, uh, something arises now and say, Yes, I wish to be, I just want to be established in that. I am not sufficiently established in that. And we are going to look at this, because this voice is rarely questioned. Yes. It is accepted that this is the fact of who you are, this is the stage that you have reached, and we must respect that. Okay? But I am pushing a bit further, pushing, you know. Even this one, hmm, is this not also uh, phenomenal? Can this be the fact of who you are? Because the wind will blow and your feelings will change. So, how can we accept such flimsy evidence when the one who is speaking now will soon change his tune? So don't give so much importance to this uh, identity. That from where the most profound looking is arising in front. Is this one of any progress to make? Can it be other than you? Do you want a future in spirituality? Or do you want to be who you are? Who would you be if you are not the person that we all assume is uttering this, these remarks that are being made? I want to be established in that. You know, I want so much, but I see I'm not yet established, and I am rejecting this vice. Why should I reject this vice? Because if I accept, and if you accept, the story goes on. New chapters are to come. New books, new lives. Is this where you wish to stay? No. <laughs> that which seems to be beyond everything, is there any distance to it? That which simply is, is it somewhere else? No. Do you have to answer with the help of imagination or something else? Then 
what is the truth then? Is any of this true? Is anything that you have said a fact? Or are you making statements uh, coming from an emotional state? Meaning, I'm feeling like this now, and you know, like, please help me. I'm really, and the next moment you're in the pub drinking, and you, and then so, you know, is any of this to be taken to be true? What would be true? Beyond belief, even. What is true? You have done very well. You have come here. We have to finish it. What is true then? Who are you? Hmm? It's like I know, but I don't know. Um, okay. I can have the sense or, or the uh, or the inner feeling but words will not contain it mm. words will not convey it words will not capture it but they are useful as indicators words by themselves will not be enough i'm looking for something from you if what i'm pointing to has been somehow comprehended in the most profound way that you somehow see what I'm painting. Yeah? And yet it cannot be phenomenal, meaning what I'm pointing to, you see, ah, oh, yes, Muji, I see. It cannot be like that. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see that I am not my body sensations, my, my feelings, my thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, I can see that I am uh, pulled by it, but. I is what? Yeah, is, is that what is not true? So, if that is not true, what is left? Don't think. What is left? See, feel, be. What is left? That what it, what is uh, observing it. What is observing it? Does it care about what it's observing, particularly? Sometimes no, but sometimes. Uh, okay. Put it another way: Is it affected by what is being observed? No, no, no. It's easy for some misunderstanding to take place in what I'm pointing. It can seem that almost I'm anti-life. But it's not true. You must discover that you are life. Not even you are living it. You are life, and at the same time, life is unfolding and flowing in front of you, the weakness of the life also that you have a sense of a dynamic existence here. Hello, how are you? Nice. That is happening in front of something that is not happening, in whose presence all seeming happenings are taking place, but it does not suffer from happenings or non-happenings. And yet, it is not some dull, lifeless thing, because all life emanates from it. 
every living being, every expression takes their birth in it and is observed in it. And yet it itself is unalterable. What is this it that we are referring to? Where is the it? Where is it? Where is it? And who can know it? Only it can know it. That is it. <laughs> you see, a true discussion or exploration into these things is immediate. It is fresh. It is not predictable in that sense. It is not old. It is not history. No word in any language convey or captures it. Who are you? Are you other than it? <laughs> 